Uh, I have a different uh, path from a lot of other SAS programmers. Uh, I started out as a communications major in college. I went to Eastern Kentucky University. Uh, I come from a family of farmers, so uh, I'm really just a farm girl here. But uh, I uh, started out as a technical writer for IBM, and then I uh, moved to a, a company that did uh, telecommunications equipment. and. I uh, got interested in the process uh, management that was in uh, the quality department. And so I switched over to become a process engineer. And part of being a process engineer is just measuring processes, knowing if you're getting better or not. And the company had SAS, so I started learning how to use SAS. And it was very quick, it was very easy. Um, I was thinking that it would be a lot more difficult, but it was not at all. And uh, what I was able to do was create uh, fabulous reports and help the company improve. And I went over to become a customer service manager and I ran a call center for a while and did all the reporting for them and uh, learned how to do stored processes. And that's what prompted me to write the BI book and also the stored process book. And then I uh, became a consultant because I just loved SAS so much. And I've been writing uh, more about data visualization in the last few years and working with SAS Visual Analytics. I think one thing that new programmers need to focus on is making sure that they understand the requirements that are given to them. Because uh, sometimes you really have to question the customer who may be your boss or may just be another employee in your department about what they're trying, what question they're trying to answer. Because sometimes they'll tell you something they want, but then when you really start talking to them or you deliver something, you find out it's not what they wanted at all. So you really have to make sure that you ask a lot of questions and that you clarify several times what the goal of the report or the information is. I, I think you also have to be aware of what's the right tool for the job. Uh, you need to really have like a good understanding of what the different procedures are, what they do, uh, what works better. Uh, for instance, you would want to know is a data step faster or is proc SQL faster in this instance or maybe a hash table. But you really need to understand like what's the right tool for the job. And I think probably uh, also one thing that people don't take into account, particularly uh, maybe people who are more analytic minded, uh, as opposed to someone like me who's a little bit more of a communications person is it really matters how your output looks. It needs to be pretty and people scoff at that, but our eye is attracted to uh, pretty things. And one of the things that sometimes happens is uh, you'll create a report and you don't really understand good data visualization techniques and it makes it hard for the person looking at the report to understand what you're trying to say. So. Pretty simple, you know, uh, learn what different people say like Ed Tufte and uh, Stephen Few. And there's a few other uh, people out there that are good to follow as well. I tend to use uh, Proc SQL more than anything else. I, so I'm going to say that's my favorite procedure just because I get so much power and flexibility out of it. Uh, I like it because I can... I can sum, I can do averages, I can join things together, I can very uh, quickly get results, so proc SQL. <laughs>